Evening, guys. If you're coming through me for a question, that'd be helpful. Chat. How pleased were you with another impressive away win? Good evening. Uh, works? Yeah, works. No. We okay. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Fine. Works. Um, uh, good evening. Yeah, we are so so happy for the for the results, but the record result is always consequence for the performance. And uh, we played uh, except 10 minutes the second half in the beginning when Bournemouth pushed a lot, but that is normal. We play a really good in in all circumstances, and especially the last 10, 15 minutes when we make a thousand million passes, because it's the best way to defend a result. And in the right moment, attacker runs in behind, uh, but uh, our build up is every day much, much better. And uh, I'm very pleased because I know how difficult it is here to come, like Arsenal and Liverpool happen, so it's so complicated because they are a real good team. They are strong wingers and strong strikers, and uh, Arthur and Daniel, um, they have a very good build-up, they contact inside, they, 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 they attack so quick to the channel, but uh, we played a good, a good game and we are so happy for, uh, for the performance. Tomorrow morning we will know it. Unfortunately, he's injured. But tomorrow the the impact for the the injury will know will know tomorrow morning. Is it foot or ankle? A foot. I, I cannot say anything else. Tomorrow morning. The Premier League has given the second goal as an own bonus. Would you would you, would you think Sergio is playing that way? The Premier League has given the goal as an own goal. Yeah, I'm happy for him. So, uh, for how he played, how he fight, and, and the goal he scored, that helped us a lot for the sec for for our result. How encouraging is it that someone like Jesus Gomez and even someone like Aguero could come on and contribute in the way they did? Yeah, a lot, a lot. Of course, we need all the players and the strikers, especially. I know how important is Sergio. I did it yesterday, the uh, day before, and the last week, and the last month. It's an important player. The, and that last game didn't play because the three guys in front was amazing, were amazing. Gabriel was uh, outstanding in the performance, and and and, and Leroy and Rush too. So that's why that's why they play. But of course, now the cup is the next week, and Champions League is there, and the Premier League is still there to fight to qualify for the Champions League. Next season will be a tough, tough battle for everybody, so that's why, um, that's why, uh, of course, we need the contribution from Sergio. So important for us. It's so difficult because you, 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 we have to lose. They have to lose three games because the goal average is. Is in front of them, so it's and and you have to win all the games. So it's you know how difficult it is to win all the games in the Premier League. So what I have to do is a uh, is a uh, game by game. Uh, now the cup and after we will see. But of course we are so happy. So last season before the game against against Swansea we were five in the position. We finished third. Now before the game we we're five in the position. Now it's second. That means the gap. Between the second, third, fourth, five, and six is nothing. As soon you lose one game, you are going to again to go below. Uh, but of course, we are so happy to be second in the position and reduce a little bit, just a little bit, the distance uh, from Chelsea. But uh, still, the gap is so it's massive. It's eight points there a lot in in that in in this opponent because they are real. Yesterday, I saw the game against Burnley. Of course, Burnley was an amazing performance, but uh, still, Chelsea play real, real good. So important is, like we spoke one month ago, so game by game, what do you have to do to improve? And that is the, the best way to, 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 to improve. You still got to go there, Sorry? You still got to go there. Still got. To go to Chelsea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We go to London, yeah. What did you say to David Silva at the end of the game? And what did you think of his performance today? Ah, amazing. So the last 50, 20 minutes, he monopolized with Kevin, with Dino, with all the players, the ball, and we pass and pass and pass. It's the best way to 
to avoid the open. So you have the ball, it's just one ball when you have the ball. So we have just to control the counterattacks and and it's safer. So when you and and we did it for the first time in this year. So the last 50, 20 minutes we control the game. We control through the passes. We know everybody is in the position. We know the wingers are wide and high, and. Uh, and the people inside move real well. Our build up with Kolarov and John was amazing how they find the people in the middle, the people outside. So that's why we could control against one team. You know how difficult it is when you let them run because all the wingers have quality one against one. And and uh, that's why I'm so pleased because I know how difficult uh, is come here and to win and play the way we play. But in the beginning of the season, we did it really well in many games. And after that, we missed something. Uh, and I know exactly why. And uh, But now, my feeling, my impression since the Arsenal game, and especially Tottenham, when we played amazing, we were lucky to win that game. Our game is more stable. Everybody knows what we have to do, and that's why it's, we have more confidence. But still, we have a big gap to, to improve. Yeah, yeah. So we won in, in in West Ham with a lot of goals. Is here, so we, they didn't create too many chances. We create more than than the other ones, and uh, and uh, that's why. So, but okay, now we go into the the cup. I know what's going on this competition. The one team for the championship, and and after around the corner is Monaco. So still, we are so happy. But uh, still, we have many things to improve, and but uh, we have to keep this this good momentum. Yeah, the people say the people say we in winter transfer arrive one guy. It was Gabriel Jesus. I think arrived twice. So Leroy arrived a little scary, but since the game against Arsenal, I think he make a a click, and uh, he showed us a lot, a lot of things, a lot. Uh, it's so fast. His intensity helped us a lot. He helped us in defensive too, and uh, 20 years old. So I'm so happy for Manchester City. We'll have a good player for the next next years. Close at the end to Harry Arthur. What, can you tell me what that was about? At the end of the game. About <laughs> Arthur. Arthur. Uh, we'll be father soon, and uh, just a big congratulations for him and. And his wife, because I know what happened in the past, and hopefully it's going to be well in this time. Um, Pep, on the subject of Bournemouth, you seem to have a lot of respect for them. What is it about them that you like so much? No, no. Yeah. When you play in that way, it looks like that team, but uh, I have a lot of respect for the team. It was the first team when we played uh, at home who created more and more problems. We won for nil, but created more and more problems since then. In the fact that the build up and the play with Daniels and attack the channels, uh, and we spoke this week a lot with the players. So be careful, guys. We're going to play one of the most difficult games away because they have a lot of quality. Of course, that in that momentum is not good in terms of results, but they play. I know it's so difficult. They play. They play good in that in that uh, in that term. So that's why I'm so pleased about the performance. You know how difficult to win the Premier League all the games. And I think until the end of the season, the last 13 or 14 games left, many, many things are going to happen to, to qualify for the Champions League. So every game will be a battle, a real battle. Um, what do you think about Eddie Howe? He's making a real good job. So he's the, the guy who puts his team in the Premier League and uh, last season make a real well. well and, and since three weeks or one month ago, pff, we're in the close positions to the Europa League, so they're going to come back and the moment they're going to win one game, they're going to come back to be the team uh, they, they are. Thank you, Gus.